In this video, I will show you how to create audiobooks step by step with AI. Now, the tool we're going to be using in this video is going to be linked in the description below this video. So, as soon as you've finished watching this video, you can jump in the description and start using this tool straight away. Now, it's a great tool. I use it all the time in my business, and I did actually create a video on the audiobook feature of this tool about a year ago on my channel. But since then, this tool has had a lot of great updates. So, I thought it'd be good to shoot a new video on it to show you the new and improved way of creating audiobooks with this tool. Now, if you still need to create your ebook first before you create your audiobook, then in that case, I recommend you first watch this video that I'm showing on the screen right now. That video will show you step by step how to create a professional quality ebook super fast using AI. And I've linked that video in the description below this video so it's easy for you to find it. Otherwise, if you've already got your ebook written and you're now just looking for a way to turn that ebook into an audiobook, let's get into the video and I'll show you exactly how to do it. Now, the tool we're going to be using to create our audiobooks is this one here called Designer. Now, this is a really great tool. I'll use it all the time in my business. It's really powerful for creating high quality, professional ebooks, super fast. And that's regardless if you've already got the content written yourself and then you just want to use Designer to put it all together for you with a professional layout, professional front cover and template. Or if you prefer to use Designer to plan out your entire content and then even write your entire contents for you using its own AI writing feature, then Designer can also do that for you as well. That said, Designer can also turn blog posts into ebooks, as well as converting YouTube videos and podcasts into ebooks as well. And of course, since you're watching this video, you also know that Designer can turn content into audiobooks as well. Okay, so when we first log into Designer, you're going to see a dashboard that looks something like this. And at the top here, we've got an option where we can create ebooks, or here we can create audiobooks. So if you're at the stage now where you're ready to create your audiobook, you're going to select this option up here. And now we're going to come into the Designer Wizard to help you set your project up. So first question here is, where you'd like to select your content as your baseline. So if we select from this drop down here, this first option is if you want to import your content, if you've already got it written in a Word doc or you've got it in a Google doc or it's a PDF or it's a blog post or whatever, you select the option here. If your content is already an ebook that's already created in your designer account, then you select this option and then you can see all your ebooks will be listed from the drop down here. The last option here is start writing and this is where you just write from scratch your content if you wanted to do that. Anyway, I've created some dummy content in ChatGPT for this example video, and I've put that dummy content into a Google Doc right here. So I'm going to import this now into Designer, and we'll get Designer to turn this into an audiobook. So in that case, I'm going to select the first option here, and I'm going to import from a Google Doc. And now here is where I import the URL of this content. So in order to get the URL of my ebook content that's currently in my Google Doc, come to the file, I need to click on the dots menu here in the top right of this file. And then we need to come to share and then click on share again. And now here we can copy the link. But first, before we do that, under general access, it will say restricted. So from this drop down menu, you have to select anyone with the link. And now when you copy this link, now designer will be able to read it. So let's go back over to designer and paste our URL for our Google Doc in here. Click add and now click next and start. And now designer is importing that content into your account. And straight away, designers brought our content into the audiobook editor right here. So now, first of all, you'll notice that designers audiobook editor has broken our content up into sections here. And at the top of each little section, we can see this person's name where it says main speaker, Jenny. So designers already assigned Jenny as our speaker by default. But we can change that out because we get option of several different types of speakers we can choose for our audiobook. And now, first of all, next to the name of each section, we can listen to what the sample will sound like. Or we can play around the settings over here to adjust the tone and the pitch of the voice as well, or just change the voice out for someone else's voice. Anyway, just as a quick sample, just to get us started, if I just click the play button next to this title for the audiobook, let's have a listen to what this currently sounds like before we've made any adjustments. The Puppy Potty Training Guide. Okay, so not bad for starters. We haven't yet even played around with the settings to adjust the voice yet. So now straight out of the box, it actually sounds pretty decent. Now, you're actually going to be able to tweak this to the point where it just sounds completely human and you couldn't tell at all that it's an AI. Personally, in my opinion, no, I don't think you get it that good. But they are actually pretty decent. They're a big improvement on the AI voices that were in Designer about a year ago. So Designer's had an upgrade over the last several months, they improved a lot of their features, and improving their voiceovers is one of the features they've improved. Anyway, so as our content's broken up into sections here, if you wanted to, you can have one voiceover to narrate the whole content, or you can select different people's voices to narrate different parts of your audiobook if you wanted to do that as well. So moving on over to the right-hand side here, where we've got our speakers. So here currently we've got Jenny set as the main speaker. And if you click on these little dots icon here, you can edit the speaker here and adjust the speed and the pitch that she speaks at. Or you can switch around for a different voice as well. Or you can change the type of voice as well. So first of all, we're currently on the default, but you can select her to speak with a customer service style voice or an assistant or a newscast or formal newscast or a casual newscast. 
So let's go for casual newscast and let's adjust the speed. Let's make us speak a little bit slower. And how about we adjust the pitch up a little bit? Let's bring the pitch up to maybe here and click save speaker and then click save again. And now this is updating our speaker. Now let's head over and see what she sounds like now. 10 essential tips for a clean and happy home. Okay, so not too bad. Now, what about the other swiper speakers that we can have in designer? So let me show you what else we can have in here. So if we click on add new speaker, here we get a new drop down menu where we can change the language or the accent as well. So if we go for a UK English accent and the voice, let's choose perhaps Mia. And here I can listen to a preview of Mia's voice. Designer launched in April of 2016. The application has been received extremely well by business owners, marketers, bloggers, and authors. It's used by hundreds of thousands of users worldwide. It helps its customers create ebooks, flipbooks, and audiobooks. Okay, so personally, I think that's a much better voice, just sounds more natural than the other voice we listened to earlier. So I'm going to add Mia here as a speaker. So now we've got Jenny and Mia. And now let's add one more speaker. So let's try a different language. Now, if I choose one of these other languages, it's going to be, like if I choose Portuguese, it's going to be in Portuguese. I won't actually understand what they're saying. So I'm going to stick to the English spoken language just because I'm English. And that's obviously the language I understand. So I'm going to click English Australia this time. And the voice, I'm going to select. So I've got Natasha here. Now, I'm not sure why it's only showing female voices at the moment. Usually there are male voices here to select as well. So maybe that's just a glitch at the moment. But usually you've got a choice of one or two females and one or two males as well. So let's go for Natasha. Let's see what she sounds like. Designer launched in April of 2016. The application has been received extremely well by business owners, marketers, bloggers, and authors. Okay, so not too bad. Now let's add Natasha to our speaker list. But before we do that, let's adjust her speed and pitch. Now let's speed her up a little bit, but adjust the pitch like quite a lot just to see the difference. Uh, click add speaker and click save. Now, the annoying thing is now I've just adjusted those settings. I can't yet listen to what adjustments sound like by clicking the preview button. What you need to do is now we have our three speakers and you can have as many as you want or just stick to one if you want to. So we've got Jenny, Mia and Natasha. Now we come over to our speakers here. So I've already switched out Mia here. Now in order to do that, all you need to do is click on one of the names and then you select whoever it is you want to speak that part. And now here we've got the play button and I can listen to the sample of Natasha speaking this part with the changes of the pitch and the tone that I just adjusted. So let's see what that sounds like now. Bringing a new puppy into your home is an exciting and joyful experience. Puppies fill our lives with unconditional love. Okay, so we can certainly hear the change there, especially in the tone and the speed was a bit faster as we set. Now I put the tone up to the higher end just to show you guys the difference. I wouldn't actually necessarily set her tone to be that high, my personal preference, but just an example to show you guys. Anyway, once you've chosen your speakers from the right hand side here and you've adjusted their tone and pitch how you want them, what you need to do now is just assign different sections to whoever you want to speak those sections. And you just do that by clicking on the person's name and then from the drop down, choosing the person you want to speak that part and so on. And it's as easy as that. And again, like I said, if you just want one narrator for the whole lot, you just set one narrator to be your main speaker and you're good to go. And then once you're happy with your audiobook, you need to come up to the top right and click on publish audiobook. Now you'll see under here, it says estimated cost and there's this credit system here. Now in order to use the audiobook feature of Designer, you need to be on the premium plan in order to have access to this feature. And when you sign up, you get 100,000 credits assigned to your account. Now this largely seems to be to bring in a fair usage practice because of course there's going to be some users that are going to be really heavy users whereas well other people who are not going to use it anywhere near as much. So the credit system does make it a bit fairer but please bear in mind if you do go over your credits within the same month and you still need to create more audiobooks then you need to purchase more credits. So just bear that in mind. Now one credit is roughly one character. Now that said I'm personally on the premium plan of designer. I've used it for a few years and I've not yet once had to buy extra credits because they renew each month. As long as I don't go over those 100,000 each month, I won't need to buy any more. So that's been my personal experience with it so far. But please just be aware of that when you use Designer. Anyway, once you're happy with your audiobook, you click on Publish Audiobook. And now Designer gets to work publishing and creating a published version of your audiobook. And now here it is. It's all done in a matter of seconds. And we find our audiobook right here. And now our audiobook is finished rendering. If we click on the little dots icon, the top right of our audiobook, we've got a few options here. So we can either copy the URL for the MP3 or we can generate a QR code or generate the audio embed code or open the audiobook as a preview or delete your project. Now, if you want to have a look at your audiobook, click on the eye icon here. It's going to open in a new window. Now, here is our audiobook with the content and you can play it down the bottom here. Or you can also click the download button to download it to your computer. 
Now, as I mentioned earlier, Designer is not free to use. And if you want to use the audiobook feature, then you need to be on the premium plan or higher. And Designer also doesn't offer any annual pricing or any discounts that are on their website. They have this agency plan here, which is a higher priced plan. But other than that, it's monthly pricing. That said, however, I do have a unique link that will get you a discount on the premium plan. And you can access that discount via a link in the description below this video. And when you click that link, it will take you to this page where you can get the Designer Premium License at a discount. If I scroll all the way down to the bottom of this page, here you can get access to Designer Premium for 297 per year. So this is a yearly plan and you can, of course, cancel at any time. And now if we see 297 divided by 12 will be just $24.75 per month instead of paying $49 per month. So this is a really big discount. If you see the value in this and you feel this tool is right for you and you want to use Designer to create audiobooks, then this is a really good offer. And like I said, you can get access to this deal via the link in the description below this video. So this is a hidden deal that's not currently displayed on their website. Now, like I said earlier, Designer also has lots of other cool features like being able to create entire eBooks for you, even writing all the content for you as well, if that's what you wanna do. And it can also convert blog posts into eBooks as well as converting YouTube videos and podcasts into eBooks and into blog posts as well. So it's a really useful tool. Now, if you got value from this video, then please do like, share and subscribe. It really helps my channel out a lot and I really appreciate it. Now, if you want to see how to create an entire eBook using AI with Designer, then watch this video right here.